This is three steps to sketch for basic sign graphs. And today we're going to take a deeper look at how to use this method with an equation that we already know. So it's just the graph y equals sine x. That's the parent graph of sine. So we really should already know what this one looks like and it should help us get comfortable with using this method so that we can graph any basic sign graph. All right, so here's our reminder of our three steps to sketch. We'll first find our essential info, then we'll plot our key points, then we'll sketch and repeat. So to start, let's first identify A and B. So A is the coefficient in front of sine. It would be a vertical stretch or shrink. Um, since there's nothing there, we know it's an understood one. So there's really no vertical stretch or shrink here. B is the coefficient of X. And in this case, it's also an understood one. All right, now we can calculate the period. And remember, to find the period of sine, all we need to do is calculate 2 pi divided by b. And that'll tell us the length of one horizontal cycle. All right, so 2 pi divided by b in this case is simply 2 pi. Now we can move on to finding good scale labels so that we can label our axes. To find our horizontal scale labels, remember you take the period and you divide by four. So that's two pi over four. Set that off to the side. Two pi over four. And we know that that can reduce because we have a common factor of two. So it reduces to a one in the numerator and a two in the denominator. So we should be counting by pi over two to label our horizontal tick marks. Okay. To set a vertical scale, we usually can just look to A. One will work perfectly here. So we'll label our vertical tick marks by ones. Okay, let's label our axes. So horizontally, we should be counting by pi over two. So one pi over two, two pi over two, which of course reduces to pi, three pi over two, and four pi over two, which reduces to two pi. And you could keep going if you like. We'll stop there. Note that your fourth horizontal tick mark should always match your period with this method. All right, let's label the negative part of the horizontal axis. It'll be similar. Negative one pi over two, negative two pi over two, or negative pi, negative three pi over two, and negative four pi over two, or negative two pi. All right, let's label the vertical axes, just counting by axis, counting by ones. And now we're ready to move on to step two, plot key points. So we know our pattern for an unreflected sign should be zero, max, zero, min. Once you know that and you have your axes labeled, it's very, very easy to get your graph of sign and move on to repeat. So we know our first point should start at the origin. So we put a point at zero, zero. Then we move to the next horizontal tick mark. So our next point should be a maximum for this graph. So the highest point. And it happens at pi over two comma one. We know our next point should be another zero or x-intercept. So that happens at pi comma zero. And our final point of the pattern should be a minimum at the next horizontal tick mark over. So three pi over two comma negative one. All right, so we have plotted one pattern or what will give us one horizontal cycle. All right, so we can sketch this out. And before we do that, I like to go ahead and place the next cycle's first point. So that would be restarting the pattern with another zero. Let's go ahead and sketch in our first cycle. Okay. And now we can go ahead and repeat. So let's do one more cycle on the negative part of the horizontal axis. So move four tick marks over from where you first started the blue cycle of the graph. So that will give us a zero at negative two pi. Next point's a max. Next point's another zero. Final point is a minimum. And we can go ahead and sketch that in. All right, so repeat as many times as you need. And this hopefully helped you really dig into using the three steps to sketch method for basic sign graphs.